Okay, just going to look at integration and indices. So just to review some of your indice rules. Uh, if you have x to the minus n, that's 1 over x to the n. And that becomes very important when you've got something in this form here, say it's x to the power of 4, because there's no rule for integrating that. But there is a rule for integrating x to the n, or x to the power. You add 1 to the indice and you divide by it. So when you're doing this, if you know that when you bring that up to the top, it becomes minus 4. So basically, if the indice goes across the division side, the sign of the indice will change. Okay. Um, the way to think about that too is, you can think of it in a couple of different ways, but that 1 on top is like x to the 0, and the bottom's x to the 4. And what do you do to the indices when you divide? You subtract them. So it's the same as x to the minus 4. So then add 1 to the indice, so minus 4 plus 1 on minus 4 plus 1 plus c. So finally it'll just be x to the minus 3 on minus 3 plus c. And it's a good habit to rewrite that as minus 1 on 3x to the 3 plus c. Okay, so that's just using that rule. So x to the minus n is x to the n and that allows you to bring it up to the top. The other one is when you have a fractional indice. So x to the m on n is the nth root of x to the n. x to the half would be the square root of x to the 1, which we write as the square root of x, because usually you don't write the number in front here, and you don't write the 1. Okay. Um, x to the 3 on 2, so that's the square root, because the 2 is there of x to the 3. So if I want to integrate something, let's bring that backwards, 4 to the 5. First you've got to put it into index form. So you go x to the 5 on 4. Now a way to remember that too is at the door, like you think of this as a house, and the 4's at the door is on the floor. So see it's on the floor, so it's on the bottom. And what's on top, which is the 5, so what's on top stays on top. So at the, at the door is at, on the floor, and what's on top stays on top. The other thing too um, is that this, this is the root. The thing that's on the bottom, so if we've got 5 on 4, that's the root. And if you think of it as flower power, so 5 on 4, and you think of it as flower power, there's the flower on top. And down the bottom is your root. So the 4 is the root and the 5 stays on top. So how do you actually integrate this one? So 4x5, we've got to first of all put it into index form. So it's x to the 5 over 4 dx. And then you go x to the 5 over 4, add 1 and divide by it. So 5 over 4 you make that a common denominator of 4, so you get a times that by 4 and 4, times 4 times 4. You get x to the, add the tops, 9 on 4, and on the bottom you get 9 on 4 plus c. Then the 9 on 4 flips, so it's 4 on 9, x to the 9 on 4 plus c. I'm just going to write that as a root, so it is the fourth root of x to the 9, and that would be on 9 plus c.